G'day everyone, this is Rising Fun Gaming here. Welcome to the next episode. Going against the high rank Asalos today. And as you can see, we're out in the ancient step once more. It's really cool, he starts in 7, and on the lead up to it, we've got Jagir and Jaggy. Those that don't know, you can get two different buffs off them. Don't think you can get red. Um, so that's really, really nice when you're using Insect Glaive. Nice segue to saying we are using the Aerial Style Insect Glaive today. Really, really enjoy using aerial stuff for this particular weapon. Especially against our flabby birds. They're all over the place, so I've got to keep up with them. It's really, really cool. It's interesting that he starts up here. Whether it speaks for what sort of regions, or areas, or landscapes. Man, could I hit a paintball today? <laughs> Where he kind of likes to hang out. I guess it is up high, and he is a bird. That makes sense. And it's just an area away from his roosting site, but here he is, of course, our favorite dark green, scaled, flappy bird flagship dude. <laughs> just getting a launch off the uh, conchu there, that was really lucky. And yeah, as we said in the last episode, this guy is that new flagship, one of the new flagships. He's super duper aggressive, both to human hunters and other monsters alike. I don't know how many friends he has in the monster world, probably not too many with this bad attitude of his. Super territorial by the sounds. And um, yeah, have fun fighting this fella. Just trying to get a few hits on, we did get a few hits at the head there. Uh, a few more. Nice. Oh hell yeah. We've got um, the Dread King armor set today and of course we want to seek out the head as much as possible to get some... Uh, weakness exploit crit boosts of 50% is so always nice. Um, we're using Tama Mitsune's Insect Glaive today, or Mizutsune I should say in the English. It's um, of course a water one. Ice as we used in the last one with the Kushala Horn is the best element against him. Water's a close second. Donk! And we're just escaping that one. Always like shooting the um, pheromone in midair. Very, very fun. Oh, and the bug actually knocked him out of his charged up state. That was pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Not intended, but I'll take it. <laughs> Man. It's been a good fight already. Boom, boom. I really love the combo where you can finish it in a backward spin into like a forward two hit combo. I think the final slash of that two hit combo is quite nice motion value. We're already breaking the head too. Yeah, this is this has been a really good fight for me. Don't know what it is with insect uh, with aerial insect glaive in particular. I can just go absolute nuts with it and get away with a lot usually. Kind of reminds me of like when I fight Rathalos and stuff like that. Doesn't seem as dangerous when I'm insect glaiving in aerial stuff for some reason. Kind of hard to catch when you're jumping all over the place. I guess having said that, yeah, it doesn't work out against a whole bunch of monsters. There's some monsters that just continuously punch me out of the air whenever I try to get away with this. <laughs> We're doing not too badly here. Oh, wow. That was close. And we've knocked him out of his charged up side again by hitting that charged up tail. Now, speaking of which, this guy, just like Zenoga, can put his put himself into an electrically charged state. Uh, when he's in this state you really want to actively seek out the head, wings and tail. Put enough hurt at these parts and they're the parts that are most charged up. Um, you can potentially knock him out of it and upon knocking him out of it he's going to drop a shiny. At least the first few times he has all monsters, in my experience, have a limit to how many uh, shinies they drop. And um, I'm not sure what it would be for this guy. Probably three to four. But that's just a guess of mine. Is your damn Conchu getting in the way? They haven't been too bad, though. They've been providing launch pads for us after all, so they can't be all, too, all bad. <laughs> So yeah, as we can see, he's got some pretty awesome attacks. We haven't been done by the 
paralysis tail poke yet which is a scary one which you can do in midair we might see that sometime during the fight at least the attack not me getting paralyzed by it that would kind of suck kind of hoping he uh, moves to this area whilst um cure myself i don't think i'm going to be that lucky am i <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what sort of um, hunter arts you guys use for insect glaive. Whenever I'm using a hunting style that can only equip one, I'm pretty much always going insect, uh, not insect glaive, uh, extract hunter. That's what I'm trying to spit out. That's what I'm trying to say. There's the um, there's the the one that gathers bugs, and there's also the uh, insect cutter or whatever it's called. The one where you uh, do a big spinning attack and slam down. Don't see that one a lot. Um, I often see this one because hey, it's really really annoying to get um, extracts. I reckon, unless you're an insect glaive main and you know every single extract color spot on every monster. <laughs> Oh nice, we got we got that really nice forward moving two hit combo with the last one landing on the head, I like when that happens. As we also said in the last video, those that didn't see it or don't know, good old Ryzex is, his design is inspired not only by flying wyvern or flying sort of dragon guy he's also inspired by the cre by the uh, designs of insects and included in those insects that it's been inspired by uh, the glasswing butterfly for the wings uh, dragonfly for the tail and tree hopper for the head crest which I thought was really interesting <sighs> it's probably a bad time. Oh well, an eye for an eye. I guess I'll take it. I was going to say, it's probably a bad time to be uh, using any sort of item when he's dropping the lightning there with the crisscross patterns. Ah, to be fair, I didn't really realise he was going to do it as I pressed the Y button. Oh, almost got that jump on. Yep, he's doing it. He's doing the I'm running away now because I'm super hurt. Limp away. Limp away. Alright. Not a bad battle so far. And it should be just a matter of time before we polish him off. Just wondering should I cap him or not. Capped him in the last video. Uh, we want to turn around to go to 9. Of course. Of course. Could wait for him to sleep, but ah, uh, meh. I want to get straight in. You gonna knock down the pillar for us? Of course, you're gonna knock it down by flying adjacent to it. Be interesting how they've coded the um, the pillar breaking in this game. Like what what conditions have to be um, met? Because I always thought it had to be a monster's attack. But as we can clearly see there, it was just the monster touching it. Unless there was something that I failed to see. He was just flying down. <laughs> Pillars in Monster Hunter, man. Pretty weak. Pretty weak source. Alright, all I need for you is to run over here, but you probably won't because you're tired. Maybe this will entice you. It will. <laughs> okay. And there we go, it's the higher rank Astalos. And he's done and dusted. Probably a bit too late to get Extract Hunter there. Yep, but um, yep, that's gonna do for the uh, hunt and that'll do for the video. Thank you so much for watching as always. My name is Rising Fun Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be back with the Hyper Astalos next time and that proves, well, it should prove, I should say, to be a really fun fight. Well, until then, it's goodbye for now.